The Last Kingdom is in its fifth and final season. Before we say goodbye to the amazing cast, let's find out about their private lives. Learn if Ruby Hartley and her Icelandic co-star are an item in real life. Discover who Timothy Innes' famous brother is and find out why Alexander Draymond doesn't have time for dating. Let's start. Ruby Hartley as Stiora. The final season of The Last Kingdom is largely revolving around Uhtred and his daughter. Ruby revealed that she loved the relationship between the characters. And it was especially nice for Stiora to have the chance to fight alongside Uhtred and show him that she's like a chip off the old block. The sprawling medieval epic became the young actress's first professional job. Hilariously, Hartley wasn't a fan of The Last Kingdom until her audition. However, some of her family members were. Ruby's brother explained to her how popular the show was, and her grandfather, who'd read all of the Saxon Tales novels, made a book with all the Stiora bits in it for Hartley. So she definitely pulled some inspiration from that. Still, joining the cast was somewhat intimidating at first. Ruby shared that Alexander Draymond was a breeze to work with. He always looked out for her and her on-screen brother, Finn Elliott, so it felt like there was a genuine family connection between them. When you're lucky enough to have that, any pressure melts away, revealed the actress. But some of the scenes were quite challenging, especially the one where Stiora and Citric are alone for the first time. Their on-screen relationship inevitably made fans suspect an off-screen romance as well. Ruby tends to be tight-lipped regarding her personal life, so let's try to find the answer from a different source. Einstein Sigurdsson as Citric this Icelandic actor revealed that he wasn't sure if he would be able to make the fight scenes look convincing. Despite looking at home with a weapon in his hand, Ice insists he was screaming inside when he had to learn fight choreography. When he was told about it for the first time, he nodded dutifully, but thought to himself, I'm never going to be able to do this. Thankfully, he had weeks of training alongside stunt professionals prior to shooting. And what Ice found most amazing was how different they all were on and off screen. They're like badasses when the camera is rolling, he shared. And then when the director yells cut, they're like the sweetest guys ever. But let's get back to the question of whether or not the actor is dating his co-star, Ruby Hartley. Nope, they are not an item, as Sigurdsson is already married. Two years ago, he married a fellow actress, Salome Gnarsdottir. She's best known internationally for her roles in Nightfall and Pennyworth. Now, let's find out everything about the actress who was also rumored to be dating the show's lead. Eliza Butterworth as Aylesworth. This multi-talented performer is not only an actress, she also plays percussion, sings alto and mezzo-soprano, and is keen on ballroom dancing and flamenco. Reserved on screen, in real life, Eliza is sparkly and vivacious and seems to get along quite well with her co-stars. No wonder rumors started that she was dating Alexander Draymond especially after they both posted adorable photos spending Easter together. However, at the time, Butterworth was in a relationship with another guy named James. He's not part of the entertainment industry and doesn't even have an Instagram account. Loved up photos of the couple occasionally appear on Eliza's page. However, they seem to have all been erased now, so we can probably assume that they split up and Butterworth is single at the moment. Or perhaps she is simply following the example of her more private castmates. Emily Cox as Brida. The actress actually has an extensive resume. Most of her projects were shot for German and Austrian television, as Emily was born and grew up in Vienna. Still, you might have spotted her as Claudia in the fifth season of Homeland. Cox was thrilled to be a part of the Last Kingdom cast, most of all because of the way they treat the historical reality of the Viking era. It's quite dark and violent, but also allows such strong female characters like Brida to exist. She's a thinker a strategist and an analyst, but she's also a fierce fighter who can stand up for herself. And that is what Emily enjoys most. She's no stranger to doing physical stuff. Cox has been practicing Krav Maga for about a year and also did quite a lot of dancing when she was a teenager. Moreover, she's proud of being the best horse rider on the show. Doing stunts and wielding weapons on set wasn't very difficult for Emily. But still, sometimes the shooting process was quite tough. The actress revealed that once she had to lie in the mud for a whole day in the pouring rain. However, while Emily never hesitates to talk about her craft, she hasn't shared any details about her life publicly yet. Fortunately, not all the ladies on The Last Kingdom are as shy. Amelia Clarkson as Alfred. This young English actress hails from London, where she lives with her boyfriend, fellow actor Henry Rowley. This is not Clarkson's first period drama. 
Prior to joining the cast of The Last Kingdom, she had notable roles in Poldark and Nightfall. Still, it is the first time Amelia's played a historical figure. The character of Alfled is based on the real-life second wife and the royal consort of Edward the Elder. This king had three wives and fathered 14 children. So, let's move on to the actor behind this character. Timothy Innes as Edward Timothy started his acting career on stage, where he honed his skills for three years. Aged 17, he also started to appear in British shows and films, such as Doctors and The Favourite. Before The Last Kingdom, his most notable role was in the series Harlots. And now, Timothy has stepped it up in a big way as Edward. While portraying King Alfred's son, the actor managed to incorporate a lot of characteristics of his on-screen father, played by David Dawson. Even the show's biggest star, Alexander Draymond, was impressed by his performance. Of course, the show's brilliant makeup department also did a great job, but Draymond stresses that Innes brought a real maturity to the character in the fifth season. Timothy is quite private about his personal life. Even his Instagram page is all work. The only thing we know about his family is that Timothy's brother Joe is a singer-songwriter who performs with his band, The Cavalcade. Now, let's learn about the actress who shares a unique chemistry with the show's lead. Millie Brady as Ethel Fled. During her school years, Millie worked as a model to save money for acting classes, and her hard work really paid off. Since the start of her acting career, Brady's appeared on many hit shows like Mr. Selfridge and The Queen's Gambit. I think I've been really lucky, says Millie. I've always wanted to play gutsy characters who are a bit different from the norm. But so far, her heart belongs to The Last Kingdom. The first thing that drew Brady to the series was that there were no stereotypical heroes or baddies, and she was hugely excited to play a character that evolved with each season. Millie felt it was really important to show all aspects of her character. It is a lot more real to show someone who has come through the horrors of life and is able to move through it and move with it. In Season 5, Ethelfled had a lot of moments where she was torn between vulnerability caused by the realization of her illness and the responsibility that she bore because of her position. And Brady completely nailed all those moments. In real life, the actress is, thankfully, happier in love than her Last Kingdom character. In her modeling years, she briefly dated singer Harry Styles. But for the last five years, Millie has been in a relationship with Charlie Palmer Rothwell. Charlie is an English actor known for his appearances in movies like Dunkirk and Legend. And finally, we are going to talk about the show's lead. Alexander Draymond as Uhtred Alex revealed that he wanted to become an actor from a very early age. He used to put on plays with his cousin and later even started making little movies. After high school, he started taking acting classes and worked at the theater. Prior to The Last Kingdom, Draymond was best known for the role of Luke Ramsey in American horror story Coven. But playing Utre definitely became his real breakthrough, and Alexander enjoys his character immensely. It is a gift for any actor to play somebody that goes from a snotty young boy to leader of armies in the course of one series, he explained. However, Alexander welcomes other professional challenges as well. On top of starring in The Last Kingdom, he also directed one of the episodes. And what about his personal life? In one interview, he mentioned that most of his girlfriends have been French because he grew up for quite a while in France. Later, Draymond reportedly dated a Greek actress, Tonya Soteropoulos, for two years. You might remember her as a Bond girl in Skyfall, but their relationship ended in 2012. Since then, Alexander has kept his love life out of the public eye, so he might very well be single at the moment, simply because of his very busy work schedule. And it's not going to calm down anytime soon. Because although the fifth season of The Last Kingdom is the final one, Netflix already has a sequel movie in the works. It is titled Seven Kings Must Die and is expected to be released sometime in 2023. The movie will be more of a standalone story and will cover the last three novels of the Saxon stories. Draymond will definitely be back as Uhtred, although we don't know yet which other cast members will return. And while we're waiting for the news, check out our other videos about other Viking dramas. Thanks for watching and stay awesome!